Hi, welcome back. So we are on uh, the card index today. In this video, I'll teach you how to create a backdoor. There are a lot of ways to create a backdoor and a lot of tutorials and videos available on the YouTube and outside YouTube. And you can just Google it. You can find out um, the easiest way to create a backdoor. Yeah. So but the target system is going to be my uh, host window system. And uh, um, I have a card next with me. So I'm going to create an exe today to uh, establish a backdoor. Yeah. Now, what we are going to do after delivering this backdoor and what is that um, um, you know, we're going to achieve and how is that we are going to deliver the backdoor? There are a lot of ways to actually do it. Okay, so uh, we will also have a bit of the social engineering and uh, we also have a previous video which speaks about the ransomware. Yeah, so in this particular video, I'm going to teach you how to create a backdoor and in the subsequent videos, how do you actually deliver it? in a way that your anti-malware cannot detect it. Okay, so I'm going to also demonstrate the way of actually doing it. So let's start. So MS of Venom, okay, MS of Venom. Okay, the first thing that we need to actually do is to ensure that um, your next system and your window system is on the same network. Okay, so because we are going to establish a backdoor, if the network connectivity is not, uh, available between both the systems. Okay, the backdoor will not actually work. This is my IP for my host, Kali, 10.205. And let me have a look at uh, my host system, 10.205.208.171. Let me ping RTP. Yeah. Sometimes what happens, your Kali Linux will be on your uh, NATed mode, which will have an IP address of, uh, of 10.0.2.5. Yeah, so in that case, your um, the host operating system, which is Windows, will not be in a position to ping your card index and your MS of Venom will not work. Yeah, the backdoor will not work. MS of Venom will work, the backdoor will not work. So Windows meter printer, so we have this comment here anyway. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, the host IP is 205. 208171, 208171, just to recheck. Yeah, my memory is so poor. Port, you can use any port, but by default, when you <coughs> establish or when you start the Metasploit and you want to configure the listener to listen, by default, it will be 4444. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm using 4444. But you can change it to whatever port that you actually want, preferably a port which is not a well known port which is not reserved. Okay, I prefer not to use 3363 with the port for the MySQL. Any port that you actually find, okay, is something uh, which is not being used by any of the application or, um, what do you say, any, any of the protocols is something that you can start using. Yeah, L port. And I need to give. Um, the name for the file, so format, format is exe, and uh, and the name of the file, okay? Test me underscore ut dot exe. Okay. These are the, um, the rock bottom default parameters that you actually require to create an uh, exe. So we have got the exe here, which is test me, you can underscore yt for the youtube.exe. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come onto my host system. I'm going to disable the antivirus. I have a case of an antivirus. I'll just lower it here. So how can you actually transfer this particular file from your system to the external world. Okay, so we have an easy way to do it. Simple Python server. This one on, let's say, 8,000, okay? Okay, and again, this will also work when your host operating system and the guest operating system, in this case, is Kali Linux is on the same network. Coming onto the Kali Linux to note down the IP. Okay, and... Um,
the port is 8,000. Sometimes this may underscore yt or dxc. Okay, I have downloaded this file here. Usually, if your antivirus is running, it will give you an alert. So we are going to, going to go get back to the file Linux. sudo su service Postgre SQL start. This is the uh, veritable foundation database for the MSF console. It gives you a good performance. MSF console. The payload that we use here is the Windows Meter Prata Reverse TCP, Linux. We have Linux Meter Prata, they have Android Meter Prata. Okay, there's a lot of Meter Pratas that you can use. Yeah, I'll say search. Windows meter printer was a tab got it. So use exploit multi handler. Use exploit multi handler. It is uh, setting it up the generic shell reverse TCP. We'll set the payload to Windows meter printer reverse TCP. So that's what we used when we created the exe. Okay, the exploit is actually attack. Okay, so we used exploit multi handler. And the payload is actually the uh, uh, like a payload on the missile. Okay, that's the uh, that is the code that's getting going to get executed at the target and to give you the backdoor. Yeah, set payload, meter brother reverse TCP, because that's what we used to create the MSF, I mean, the exe file using MSF Venom. Show options. Okay, so I'll host, as I told you, the port is set to double four, double four. Okay, let's do a show hyphen H. <clears throat> So show payload, show info, options, favorites, all. Okay, so these are the various options that are available for you. Okay. So show options, set, L host, local host. This local host is, um, this is my system. The remote host is the target system and the local host is always the host system. In this case, it's Kali Linux. Okay, everything else remains the same. So you can use run or exploit to make it exciting. I'll type exploit here. Now what actually happens? Click on this. Run. Okay, that's what the problem is. I did not use the IP address of the Kali Linux. Okay, I used the IP address of my target Windows system. Okay, so let me cut this Python thing off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, IP. Okay, host Kali. Goody, goody, good. Let's add this. Get back. Test me underscore yt dot exe. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Setting stage, that means, okay, there's a meter better session that is actually open. So you can do an uh, help. Okay, and uh, you can do an help and these are options available for you. You can use the webcam, chat list, lamp stream, etc. Screen share, screen shot. Okay, key scan, start, stop. 
Okay, all this thing you can actually do and sysinfo. Oh. Sysinfo gives you this uh, okay, term. <coughs> Admin PC. Okay, IP config. This is IP on my target system. Okay, so my uh, this is on my um, target system, which is 10.205.208.171. This is what the target system is. Now, the excitement doesn't stop here, actually, because, you know, it depends upon what are you going to do next after you establish the meetup at a session. There are two challenges that we actually see here, because I need to, in this case, I had disabled my antivirus to send my uh, uh, EXE across to my host operating system. That's the same case uh, with any, any operating system that you're going to send this EXE, provided they have an uh, up-to-date uh, signature on the antivirus, it will immediately identify this as your, or to say, um, you know, your, your malware. Yeah, we can test it with the virus total. And I'll also show you on the next video. And next video, we're going to again establish a shell. I'll show you how do you, uh, how do you safely uh, transfer the ZXE to a uh, Windows system on which even the malware is actually running. Okay. So, we cannot expect the user to disable the malware to execute your EXE, right? Now, it doesn't work that way in the actual scenario. We need to have an other option to deliver this malware. Okay, there are two things. One is, how do you deliver this malware to the target operating system? Because if I'm a hacker, I have created a backdoor EXE, I cannot go to literally every system in the world to put the malware, right? Now, I need to have a different way of doing it. That's why the social engineering uh, comes into the picture. And if there are uh, uh, 100 million systems across the world, okay, most of the systems, I assume, should have an antivirus, okay? And some of them will not have an up-to-date, uh, 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 I mean, uh, updated antivirus signatures on their malware, okay? But still, this technique of creating an EXE is very old, okay? So any, even if you don't have an up-to-date signature on the malware, you will still be caught. So we have two challenges. One, do you, how do you deliver the EXE to the target system uh, easily and how do you execute the uh, backdoor that you have created a target system without the anti-malware okay quarantining it or cleaning it whatever it is there should be some way we sh we, we can do it there is a way in which we can do it stay connected i will teach you on the next video cheers then. bye bye